Hello beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. While there seems to be so much outcry over the issue of insecurity, uh, the Odudua Republic, those agitating for Odudua Nation, are not resting their oils at all. They are actually moving one step ahead every step of the way. And they have done what a lot of persons are surprised at. In fact, they are actually at the brink of, you know, actualizing their full dream. And even the international communities have acknowledged and they're about to move this. I guess way, the way uh, this particular group and the leadership of this particular ag agitating uh, nation is going, it may actually benefit all other uh, secessionist groups. They can actually take a cue from them and who knows what may happen in the next couple of days, weeks or even months as the case may be. But before we go to the newspaper to find out what is this big win the Odudua Republic have achieved if you like it to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube well nigeria is going through a very challenging moment a time when insecurity and call for a breakup has been on the forefront of the nation's problem recall days ago popular yoruba human rights activist sunday igoho and professor banji akintoye declared the dual republic Agitation for a sovereign state for the people of the Southwest. The declaration and agitation for Yoruba Republic has stirred mixed reactions from all quarters of the country, including the Southwest region. While many Yorubas welcomed the move, others like Ondo State Governor Rotimia Kiridolu and some other Obas has kicked against it, saying that his state is not interested. Meanwhile, while speaking during a live interview well, by Sunday Igoho spokesperson, Professor Banji Akitori disclosed that the matter has been reported to the United Nations, European Union, African Union, ECOWAS, and other nations like the United States, Canada, Britain, and China, as he said that they are all looking that their submission had been acknowledged they're all looking and are aware that their submission has been acknowledged and that they are waiting for the next step according to him the next step is that they are going back to them to tell them that on the basis of federal government refusal to discuss with southwest they are going to write their own constitution for the dua republic and also prepare documentations for new countries mm. adding that they will demand that the united nations hold a referendum for the united nation for the yoruba nation and another referenda for different member alliance I will take that particular part again. He added that they would demand that the United Nations hold a referendum for the Yoruba nation and another referenda for different member alliance. He further said that the Southwest is open for negotiation and reconciliation as he said that the that there are the people as I understand, okay, that the Yoruba people are understanding people who don't believe in violence, that they are not going to take any illegal approach. Following this development, as a patriotic Nigerian, I feel it is time for the federal government to do something about this before things get out of hand. A reconciliation committee should be set up to look into it and settle the agreed parties. Nigeria is a country that belongs to all. We can make it work again. Let us put aside our differences and come together to build a nation. Well, that is the opinion of one or two Nigerians. Other Nigerians are actually saying they should succeed. Okay, well, let's look at this very critically. Hmm. If you watch the move and the uh, the move, all this while I've been actually been following Professor Banji. Don't forget, it was one time a, 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 a senator. Yeah. The early senator those days, then in his time, so the day used to lose money. Uh, that was when people, civil servants, as in public servants, come to work. They even put remove from their pockets to make Nigeria work. That was when you know being a public servant was self called to duty. Now it is a uh, chop a chop. Uh, we're in the era of chop a chop. We're in the era of national moi moi. 
national cake go loot and go and if you loot what is that my the biggest criminal have i even looted up to that's what is actually raining and that's an angelus activity for 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 the elites you know we have two factions of nigerians nigerians that are the elite and the very poor is in this nigeria you see somebody a, a one, one person that can actually borrow uh, uh, that can actually sponsor the whole Nigeria. Can actually Nigeria can go and borrow money as in get money from such a person. Can lend Nigeria money, and they still the same Nigeria will help people who cannot even afford one meal. How much more for oh, three square meal? Three square meal in Nigeria is luxury. If you can eat three square meal, you're a big man in Nigeria, and that's bad, really. But looking at the way Professor Banji is going, it clearly shows that he's actually full intellect. I remember also that um, the governor. Akira Delu doesn't want to actually lock horns with him intellectually because Professor Banji is one man who is intellectually sound. I guess what right now what fails him is strength. I guess that's also why he's collaborating, collaborating with the Sunday who has the strength as a youth, and then he has the intellect of a professor and a learned colleague. And he's actually fearless. He has been talking before now. If you check what was still the same Professor Banji that actually took. Uh, Yoruba Nations to UND, UNPO, which is another United Nations um, uh, all recognized states, you know, all declared countries that's in, uh, I think they were the 45th, then Biafra was the 46th. He's still the same Professor Banji, and he's saying he's looking forward to a situation where they will leave the country called Nigeria, have an indigenous country, the Dua Republic of their own without letting any blood and he has said that they are going back again to remind you and how far thus far they have moved that they have yet to negotiate or the government federal government is yet to negotiate with them don't forget he's actually moving with all the legal papers wearing when they necessary following the due processes because the u.n charter is for all it's not for some few Okay, it's so following the due processes. So if the federal government does not, you know, go into some sort of dialogue with them or discussion with them, they may be forced by default, based on what uh, uh, Professor Banji is saying, to bring in the other, you know, clause in the UN Charter where they will have to bring in referendum. Okay, so okay, since they don't want to come conduct a referendum who we are the alliance for those who are in alliance with Yoruba nation do you want to come in uh, Yoruba nations you know do a referendum and with that if Yoruba nations can succeed to get their own nation within nigeria and uh, out of nigeria then i can assure you other people will just follow the same way a uh, good professor uh, uh, Banji just did so i feel at this time those people who are looking for 2023 professor Banji is going the intellectual will and sometimes the brain work is always the best. Uh, the, the good book always say that uh, a man of wisdom will always control a man of might. A man of wisdom will always control a man of strength. With his wisdom, wisdom is uh, applied knowledge. He has he has knowledge and is applying his knowledge, knowing all the reading through all the chapters in the uh, international United States uh, United Nations chapters. And if they are there, that is binding to all, including Nigeria. And if the federal government does not look deeply into it, you just joke play, joke play. Hey, we are behaving, we be here, no, 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 do us to a republic well let's go wrap it up what's your take on what is going on right now i, I must say this is one that i wasn't expecting